Alright, we are back with more Final Fantasy XIV storyline on the Eve of Destiny. Pretentious, but hopefully not wrong. So we're talking to Hien still by the water side after we have <clears throat> found one freaking katana. On second thought, Mercy, I ask that you return to the House of the Fears without me and tell Alpha to call the others together for a meeting. It is imperative that the Kojin Emissary be in attendance as well. I shall join you anon. Alright. Let me take me a... That was stupid. Let me take a teleport. Hunter kill. Let me take me a teleport. Stupid. Yeah, that's what I thought it was going to be. Sorry, I uh, got distracted by, well, Instagram, to be entirely honest. Sorry. Alright. Do, 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 do. Alpha No, House of the Fierce. Let's go. Lord Hean wishes to discuss the details of our plan. Very well, if he insists, I shall summon the others at once. As for the Kojin, I believe one of their emissaries was already en route. And nevertheless, I shall contact them to make certain. We got the gang together. The new gang. In walk Alice and uh, the green Kojin. May I present the blue Kojin's emissary? I feel like I know this one, though. And this might be an instance of just... Please don't let it be that. <laughs> Sorry, Greetings yes. and well met, old friends. Cool. The Elder sends his regards. I knew I wasn't just being like they all look alike. Though, I mean, it's a video game, so it's... Soroban, it's good to have you with us. There's every chance that that could j literally be what's happening. He and Lee give close-up high five, uh, close-up waves. Very strange. If, uh, you might humor me. Why is my mouse all of a sudden not just plain red? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Thank you for coming, Sorban. Doubtless you have already been informed of our plans and the role we would have your people play. However, I seek your counsel as a Kojin of the Blue. Be it by spell or siegecraft. Could your forces destroy the underwater foundations of Doma Castle's outer wall? Hmm. Explosives coupled with a few incantations. Yes, that might produce sufficient force. Such a thing could indeed be done. Then I wish to revise the plan. Instead of assisting the Confederacy in securing the Enclave, I would have the Kojin advance upstream beneath the water and breach a segment of the outer wall. I mean to flood Dorma Castle. My lord, the castle is a sacred symbol, the very heart of our nation. To destroy it is unthinkable. Unconscionable! You cannot do this! It's just a building, dude. You can rebuild. I can and I will if it improves our chances. By flooding the castle, we remove the better part of their forces from the field and force Yotsuyu to retreat to the highest levels of the keep. Tell me that is not a worthwhile trade. But my lord! That castle was entrusted to you by your father, and his father before him. I say to you again, it is the heart of our nation. Stone walls do not a nation make, my friend. Her people do. And as long as we yet live, we can rebuild. So let us only think of this battle, of victory here and now. For without that, we have no future.
I see that you are resolved, Lord Hian, and I would not presume to gainsay your decision. I will inform the Elder of your revised stratagem, and instruct our sappers to make ready. Our preparations are all but complete. Once we receive word from our Kojin allies, we shall set our plans in motion. We shall fight, and we shall prevail. <clears throat> Alright, let's speak with you, Geely. No plan is perfect, and there's ever room for improvement. I expect my comrades will be refining their approach until the moment they begin. In case you are unaware, the other jo uh, Jonin... I don't know what that, that word is in this case. Uh, we'll lead the assault on, on the moon gates. Not I. My place is at Lord Hean's side. Is that like a ninja thing? Like Ronin? Or rogue samurais? Or whatever. Lease. <clears throat> if there's nothing else, I'll head back to Namai. Suranuki's Suranu working hard, and Issa's doing, Issa's doing what he can to help. But maybe there's more that I can do. Too, I think. He was like a different person when he when he began hammering those plates. Younger, brighter, full of life and hope. She jogs off. Jog on. Anyway, and Gosetsu is now with um, that dude who was supervising the the push-ups. The plan is all, the plan is set, and all that can be done has been done. Rest and relaxation are now paramount. For tomorrow we may die. Have you two not done enough? Will you not pause a moment to gather yourself on the eve of our grand design? Go not unto battle with weary eyes or lingering regrets, my friend. Yes, sir. I agree, sir. Alphino. Sorbon informs me that his, his sappers will be ready within the day, which means that we can proceed as planned and attack Doma Castle tomorrow. Considering the key role you will play, I think it only prudent that you refrain from further labors and rest until tomorrow. Agreed? Far be it from me... So, it, technically, far be it for me to refuse. But this is far be it from me to refuse, which is stupid. Or no rest for the righteous. Whatever. I won't refuse. It's fine. I don't think it matters. We shall speak again in the morning. Take care, my friend. We've got uh, Bard, Machinist, Machinist, however you want to, uh, Black Mage, or um, Summoner. So none of which are me. I'll take the Tenacity. Bard, no, hold on. Bard, I got, I got it. I don't have a ball. I don't have a Bard yet. I did, and then I just wasn't playing her. I do have a machinist, I do have a black mage, do have a summoner. I do think they're like three separate characters. Like each character I play has like three jobs, two to three jobs in general, one of which is almost always at at least a healer or tank. But um anywho. I'll take the tenacity materia because it yeah. Hard choice though, because I would have taken the bard. Oh, we have another. We have a cutscene. Sorry. We see the etherite, you know, doing its twirly thing. It seems to be night time. We start to walk off, and I'm met by Lise. You're awake. I was just um, well, they threw me out actually. <laughs> Told me I needed to get some sleep. Ready for the big day. Not long now, eh? I'm nervous, of course, but... I also feel like... Like I didn't know where I was going, but... Maybe... Finally... Something's gonna change, you know? Really, really change. And when the dust has settled, we'll see what we've won. And what we've lost. I've already lost quite a lot. 
I'm going to give it my all tomorrow. Everything I've seen and felt, I won't let it be for nothing. Holy shit, is she gonna die? <sighs> right, off to bed. Don't want to overdo it, and neither should you. Or are they just making me think that... Yeah. Oh, but before you sleep, you should look in on Alphano and Alize. Quietly, of course. Why? Because they cuddle together in some weird fucking brother sister bullshit? Or. Sorry, that was a weird intrusive thought. Literally. Oh, uh, whatever. They are. Well, they're both sat up. sat at a table. Alice says. Oh, another restless soul. Come, come. Raise a glass to freedom. Says he in, but as I was saying, Alice's head is rested on Alphano's shoulder, and Alphano is like kind of like sat up straight, but also slumped over, sleeping as well. So, Gosetsu and he in are drinking at a table together. Hmm, good, good. I should be interested to know her thoughts on the matter. Which one of you is stronger? Ah, uh, that's enough, Gosetsu. You'll not convince anyone with your drunken ramblings. Which one of you is prettier? We've talked about this, all of us. We are flooding the castle yeah. tomorrow, and that's the end of it. Yeah, imagine that. I know, I know. I accepted your decision, and I do not intend to go back on my word. Nevertheless, as the battle draws near, I cannot help but recall our many travails, and it fair compels me to speak. In all my time serving as a leader of men, there are two failures which haunt me to this day. The first, a defeat at the hands of the Empire 25 years past, and the subsequent imprisonment of your father. Long did I consider offering up my life in atonement, until Lord Kyan allowed at last to receive visitors called for me, of all people. For my unborn child, he said. For my dearest Shun, live. My second failure, of course, was the betrayal of that selfsame command. When in the rebellion I failed to protect not only Lord Kayan, but Lord Hien too. But I yet live, having known such disgrace, is an affront to the Kami themselves. Yet you, all of you, so fit to grant this shameful creature, this failure, another chance to serve a greater purpose. Thank you for pitying an old fool. Now, now, it is far too soon for that. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. And it's not pity. Ah, even that sounds morose. We who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms.
is right about one thing, though. We have you and yours to thank for this chance. All debts will be repaid. On that you have my word. But first we must live past tomorrow, no? If you've no intention of sleeping, you giddy, you may as well join us. Forgive me, my lord. I did not mean to... Uh, if that is your will. Alright, so that's the actual final end of On the Eve of Destiny. I forgot the name because it's been a while. Um, I'll see y'all next time. Soon. Ta-ta.